<laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah. I'm filming in an actual filming room. This is my first time actually having a space dedicated to filming. It took me so much time and money to put all this together. But now that I have a filming room, I will post a lot more. I might even fuck around and post twice a week. But anyway, today I'm teaming up with Fenty Beauty again, which is so amazing. They're one of my favorite makeup brands. And I'm just so thankful to be working with them again. And it's all because of you guys. So thank you so much for you guys. This couldn't have happened without you. And shout out to Fenty Beauty for supporting me, you know, keeping the lights on. You know, all this new equipment isn't cheap. But anyway, today we're gonna do a skin focused look. Might call this a Fenty face transformation using mostly Fenty products, including. Look at how beautiful this is. This is their new Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Before they even contacted me, as soon as I saw this announcement on Trend Mood, I was so hyped. I was already ready to spend my money on this. My money was already spent as soon as I saw the post because I love every single one of Fenty Beauty's skin launches, but I have dry combination skin. So you would see in my earlier tutorials, every time I use their matte long wear foundation, even though they have amazing shade range and it's really long wearing, I usually have to mix it in with some kind of oil to make it work for my skin because it's a matte foundation that's more geared towards people with oilier skin. So a hydrating foundation that is as long wearing as the first one and has a 50 shade range, it's just iconic. This is their first foundation for normal to dry skin. They contacted me and wanted me to test out their foundation. So I did and I posted so many stories and so many selfies on Instagram and people keep asking what foundation are you wearing and I want to tell y'all so bad because I was so hyped about this but here it is I can finally talk about it also they're selling this in Hong Kong my hometown so y'all international shoddies can look cute too this foundation will be available for purchase on August 15 at Sephora I highly recommend trying it out you can go to Sephora and get a free tester because the product really speaks for itself or you can order online because if you know your shade for the first pro filter foundation you know your shade for this one but anyway let's Put this on so to start off i'm also using a new product which is their soft silk pro filter hydrating primer so every time i've used this hydrating foundation i've always paired it with the primer i feel like companies launch primers and foundations together because the formulas are supposed to work well together and this is a very hydrating primer especially compared to the first one it just feels like a really lightweight moisturizer it's not sticky so i like to do two pumps in terms of shade, I'm either a 190 or a 210. These both have warmer undertones. Because there are so many shades, these two are pretty similar. I can get away with wearing either. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but my body is usually darker than my face. So if I'm matching my foundation to my face, it's a 190. If I'm matching my foundation to my body, I'm a 210. So let's do 210 today. You can apply this with a foundation brush if you want more coverage, or you can use their sponge. I like using the sponge because this foundation already has really high coverage, so I really don't even need a foundation brush to like layer on foundation. You know what I mean? I personally like using a sponge more. I just think it has a little bit more of a natural finish. Let's do one pump, and I want to zoom you guys in so you can see everything it's covering. I don't know if you can tell, but Fenty foundations usually have more of a yellow, almost green undertone. And it's so good for my type of skin because I get so much redness around my nose, my eyes, and it just helps me cancel everything out. I don't even have to use a color corrector. This coverage is with one pump of product. This is with no concealer or powder. I keep talking about the coverage because that, I think, is the one thing that's lacking in hydrating foundations. Most hydrating foundations that I've tried are not long wearing and they are not high coverage. But there are still people with dry combination skin or dry skin who still have, you know, hyperpigmentation, scars, all that stuff that they want to cover. So I'm so happy we have an option now, you know? Anyway, I'm going to use their Instant Retouch Concealer in 185. Hide my dark circles. I'm just dotting this on because the foundation already covered so much. Oh, I forgot I have a little pimple on my forehead. Let's cover that up. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to set my face with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Butter. I actually like using a sponge for this. This is a thing I've been doing. I like using a damp sponge for this and just rolling it on top. This is what I used to do with powder puffs, but using a damp sponge turns out works even better. So I just set my forehead and now my jaw. Now I'm going to lightly set my under eyes. Not too much because I still want my cheeks to glow. I'm just gonna dust off the excess with the setting brush. Now taking the Instant Warmth Bronzer in Shady Biz, 
Just going to lightly warm up my face. I'm not going for a harsh contour. I'm just going for a bit of warmth. Okay, now for highlight, I'm using the Kilowatt Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And I love using this brush because it has a sharp pointy tip. And I can use this like how I use small highlighting brushes and do my brow bone. I don't think this is what the brush is designed for, but it works. For blush, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Pearlescent Pink. I really hope Fenty Beauty comes out with a matte blush soon. That's what's missing. A little bit on the nose and on the forehead. And for my lips, I'm going to exfoliate with the Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser Lip Loving Scrub Stick. This has been a favorite lately. I don't exfoliate my lips enough and this is just so easy. After I do all that, I take a makeup wipe and I just wipe it. And then I'm using the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. For my eyes, I just want to do a simple gloss on top. I'm taking this ointment and just dabbing some on the center of the lid. This is so hard to do when I have long nails. I have to use a makeup brush. And if you want to, you can put a little bit on the high points of your cheeks, the center of your highlight. And then I'm using the Glossier Lash Lick. My favorite no makeup makeup combo, a nude glossy eyelid and mascara that isn't clumpy. For lips, I'm gonna use the Carly Bible and Il Maquillage Collab. This is their waterproof lip liner and Bible. This is my new favorite nude lip liner. I'm taking the lipstick in Sirius and just dabbing it in the center. Last but not least, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Body Lava in Who Needs Clothes. Need a little bit glow on the shoulders. Oh, so pretty. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I really hope Rihanna sees this. <laughs> Again, don't forget to check out the foundation. It's bomb. Thank you so much for watching. If you want daily updates, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you next time. Bye.